this may well be a glimpse at the future of infantry training. We've all seen computer games and that's what the tech firm behind this ordinarily make, but now they've turned their attention to military training and in particular ways of linking these virtual worlds to real life. So what happens to soldiers out here on the training area affects and is affected by what's going on in this virtual world. The big challenge we run into today is training in a mega city environment doesn't just mean you're training against combatants. The entire population is part of the audience, your adversaries, the information, the critical national infrastructure, how you move and work within that becomes part of the space. And unfortunately today, we do not train on any of that. And that's stuff you learn in the field. So something that happens in one part of the city that now affects patrols in other parts of the city, that really happens. And what we can't do is simulate that, understand that, and bring that to the warfighter in training. The future is moving to a platformed approach where we can take all these complex models from across industry, across academia, stuff that's already available but stovepiped, bring it all together and bring these complex living environments together so warfighters can train as they fight. In this scenario here, for instance, troops are responding to an attack on a religious site. What this platform does is enlarge this incident, make its effects much bigger and more realistic. So you might get social media posts about this, which would spark violent reactions somewhere else, here in the virtual world. The platform could then throw a whole mass of factors into the mix. Demographics, the sentiment of people here towards NATO, for instance. Loads of different things that will influence how things develop. Now this can be used for training, but crucially also for military planning. It'll potentially allow commanders to play out scenarios before they launch an operation. We are able to take a live instrumented using Tezkit through Cubic and Saab solutions and do a training where a terrorist attack was done at a religious site. Well, that was done on purpose because that allowed the adversary in this case to have a narrative that they can use to manipulate information across an area to win sentiment. And this gives a will to fight of the populace. It gives a lot of additional complexities within the space. So that live environment, you had that event occur. It went out into a massive simulation across the city, broadcasting social media models, then distributed that across a virtual environment where in a completely different facility, we had people training in a virtual environment, games for training style, actually get impacted by what happened in the live environment. They can run the simulation and look at different parts of what happens and then really have a, a meaningful conversation. The commander can challenge different parts and you can go deep into what models and what decisions were made. Now this system is being evaluated by the MOD at the moment, but this is definitely the direction training is going. Troops will still of course have to get wet and muddy in the field and learn to soldier, but simulation is going to provide even richer, more realistic scenarios, taking a lot of it off the tabletop and into the virtual world.